Civil Engineer Technical Interview Questions Interview for RE, Resident Engineer, and Civil Engineer by MOT, asked every times. Part 1 Q. 01 What are the duties or responsibilities of Civil Engineer? Asked every times. ANS, 1 Actually Civil Engineer has to assist the RE in all respects, including site supervision and office works. 2 He has to check the quality of work as per contractual agreements of the contract, specification and according to client slash MOT circulars. 3 To make draft regarding the site problems and forward to RE. 4 To make valuable coordination B slash W the contractor and consultants. 5 He has to, or to organize the duties of site staff. 6 To monitor the program according to contract schedule and inform to section resident engineer. 7 To make coordination B slash W concerned department regarding the removal of obstacles. 8 To maintain the daily and weekly report, regarding site activities and forward to section resident engineer. 9 To write site instructions note and forward to section resident engineer for action. 10 He has to keep record of all correspondence and monthly report. 11 Randomly checking of lab testing and record. Q. 02 If contractor submit the schedule, how you will check it? ANS, as per special specifications, we have to check, one contractor's main power and machinery as available at site. Two to check the program as per actual activities. Two to correct the program and send to the contractor to revise for approval. Approval Q03 What is the CPM and bar chart? What is the difference B slash W CPM and bar chart? And advantages? ANS, CPM or critical path method for making program for a construction. It consists of a series of line interconnected each indicate an activity. The project is divided into a number of such activities and time duration is determined. Keeping in mind number of manpower and equipment. Bar chart is a graphical representative of activities. Activities drawn horizontally representing the sequence, order and time duration. It may not necessarily be based upon list and average production of equipment whereas the CPM is basically based upon average production of equipment and availability of manpower. Q. 0 for what is preparation period, what contractor has to do or what you will check during the mobilization period. Three times repeated, ANS, this is the three months duration period from the date of contract signature. 1. To carry out all survey works, A. Defining the road center line and fixing of leveling marks. B. Drawing of terrain X sections. X sections. C. Determining the sizes of the cutting and filling sections along the road. D. Determining the actual locations of the concrete structures. E. Specifying all obstructions and structures impending execution. F. The contractor has to prepare the necessary structural design and submit same for approval by the ministry and engineer. 2. Pre preparation of detailed work program for all work items which should be accomplished by the, the primary activities schedule. 3. Preparation of workshop location and provision of equipment. 4. Preparation of the engineer's office and supervising staff complex according to specification during the six months period. 5. Specifying water resources, material resources and excavation places and obtain necessary written approval in this regard and the written approval of owners. 6. To carry out all necessary laboratory tests for approval. 7. Specifying the location of crushers and tests of materials to be crushed for concrete or asphalt pavement works. Works. 8. Start of preparation of the concrete and bituminous mixture according to the related specifications, circulars and the special specifications. 
9. Preparation of the drawings pertaining to traffic diversions and obtaining of necessary approval for same from the bodies concerned. 10. Preparation of qualifications of all the technical staff and proposed subcontractors for approval by the bodies concerned. 11. Preparation of the monthly IPCS and the monthly laboratory tests and get approval for same and all other reports, which will be used during contract period. Q. 05. How do you calculate the X sectional area of a road section? By which method? ANS, the average end area method shall be used in computing quantities, except where the error exceeds in plus or minus 5, 5%, five percent, percentage as compared with the prismoidal formula, in which case the engineer will direct the use of more accurate method. Q. 06 Suppose that a part of the details of work is missing from the drawings, and specifications is also silent about such details, how would you instruct the contractor to do? ANS, if the part of the details or description concerning any point of work is missing, shall be regarded as meaning that only the best generally accepted practice is be used or follow the MOT slash client circulars. Q. 07 Is there any provision to pay the contractor for the materials, that he procures and stores at the job site, what is the procedure, can you explain? ANS ANS, the temporary payments can be made, and within the limits of, 75%, of the specified cost of certain materials supplied by the contractor for use in the permanent work provided that materials are in accordance with the specifications and have been tentatively approved by the engineer and where applicable upon receipt of the certificate of guarantee stating that the material meets all requirements of the specifications. Temporary payments may only be made for the following materials which are actually imported to the site according to 75% of the market price or 75% of the contract's unit price as appropriate. Cement Reinforcing steel, pre-stressing steel Road paint, bearing devices, expansion joints and electrical materials Materials Structural steel and miscellaneous metals including guard rails, delineators and signs and gabions baskets Q. 08 If asphalt mix temperature at site is 130C, will you allow the contractor to pave, if he gives you written assurance and taking responsibility? ANS, all courses of bituminous concrete pavements shall be spread and the initial coverage or breakdown and compaction shall be performed, when the temperature of the mixture is not less than 140C and all rolling shall be completed before the temperature of the mixture drop below 90C. So according to specification we will not allow the contractor to carry out work at low temperature. IE 130C Q. 09 Suppose some work items are available in the drawings, but BOQ is silent about such items, how you will pay to the contractor? ANS A ANS, if the item of work is missing in the BOQ and available in the drawings, then we will check in the specification for the payments, if there is no payment for the item then it will be considered as subsidiary item, for example lean concrete or blinding and tack coat. The items for which payments are mentioned in the specification but missing in the BOQ BOQ then we will prepare the rate analysis for such items of work and send it to competent authority for approval. Q. 10 How will you prepare the monthly certificate? What are the data and quantities? You will check by yourself and what will you leave for your surveyor and quantity surveyor. Three times repeated. ANS, IPC contains the following items or parts. One IP IPC summary and bill number 1 to bill number 9. 2 bill number 1 is for general 3 bill number 2 is for earthworks. 4 bill number 3 is for aggregate, sub base and base course. 
5 bill number 4 is for bituminous construction. 6 bill number 5 is for concrete, steel and structures. 7 bill number 6 is for incidental construction. 8 bill number 7 is for roadway, lighting and traffic signals. 9 bill number 8 is for landscaping and irrigation. 10 bill number 9 is for traffic control devices and work zones. 11 to enclosure. 12 3 follow up 13 4 monthly report. 14 surveyor will check the site and he will collect the data from site and give to the quantity surveyor. Surveyor, quantity surveyor will check and prepare the quantities and made correction in the IPC. Resident engineer slash civil engineer has to check the overall IPC. He will check with QS and surveyor, the quantities at random and the percentage of work as per actual and as per schedule slash work program, the equipment and staff of contractor as available at site, which the contractor mentioned in the IPC. Part 2 coming.